cuts off the circulation in my belly. <laughs> wow, it's good to be back. Hello, everyone. I'm Mary. Uh, yeah, so I'm ready to embarrass myself publicly again. Uh, luckily for me, uh, my twin sister's in the audience tonight. Her name's Katie. Uh, if you come up to her after the show and you say, hey, good job, that's not me. I want to make it clear. I performed. She just looks like me. She's a big fan. <laughs> so, uh, my sister, you're going to think, hey, is she going to tell a lot of twin jokes? Maybe a little. Who knows? <laughs> uh, people ask me, Mary, do you ever wish you were an only child? Do you ever think about what it would be like if you were an only child? Well, actually, people, I was an only child for a minute, but <laughs> she showed up. <laughs> so I like to remind everyone that I'm older than her by a minute. I'm also taller, so. <laughs> it's, it's like this thing, the alpha twin whatever. It's like we're from Minnesota. We gotta assert our dominance, everybody. <laughs> but uh, another way to tell us apart, um, my sister, she's the more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, everyone called her the, the beautiful princess in, in elementary school. She wore these flowers in her hair. Me? They called me the evil queen. <laughs> a little boy named Patrick in second grade, yeah, he called me that. <laughs> but I don't have any trauma from that, absolutely not. <laughs> you can ask my therapist about that one. But, uh, <laughs> thank you for the laugh. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, she wore all these flowers in her hair. I wore some neon green moccasins, they were pretty sick. <laughs> and some neon pink shoes that met their demise in a Target trash can when my father said, Mary, you, those smell, throw those away. You should probably wear socks with shoes. That was in sixth grade. I wear socks now with my bands, I swear. But anyways, uh, when we were in high school, my sister and I, we switched classes because, you know, if you watched Parent Trapped or The Parent Trapped, come on, Lindsay Lohan, and you're probably like, whoa, would that actually happen? Well, you know, it could. It did. Uh, my sister dressed up as me. Uh, what I usually wear is uh, kind of this, sometimes a flannel or a baseball cap. I dressed like, uh, to be her, I dressed like I was going to Coachella. I had some makeup on my face, all this great stuff. I messed up my lipstick in the first five minutes I had it on. And so I walked into her class pretending to be her. All these people come running up to me and they're like, Katie, oh my gosh, Katie. First thing you should know, don't go off and start saying, yes, I'm Katie. Don't be <laughs> that does not work. <laughs> I would not do well in the witness protection program. <laughs> but uh, yeah, everyone knew in the first five seconds because I used a Mickey Mouse voice to impersonate uh, I thought that would work. Uh, so everyone knew that was me, so I was thinking to myself, oh, all right, Mary, well, they probably know that that's her in your class, so let's go check. No one fucking noticed. <laughs> she was just sitting in the back silently listening to music and no one fucking noticed that that wasn't me. <laughs> so I feel really good about myself at this point. <laughs> All right. But you know, high school, high school, I like to say either, you either, if you say you loved it or if you say you hated it, like that tells a lot about a person. I like to say it's a solid fine. I just kind of showed up for four years and then I yeeted out of there. <laughs> uh, I was theater in high school. Um, now I'm not anymore because I went to law school, joined a sorority, that worked. Uh, <laughs> but um, I always say in high school, uh, when I'm in my travels, I'll say, uh, if, if, if you went to high school between 2010 and 2018, you'll get this reference. Did you ever get hissed at by those kids who were being furries in high school? <laughs> if you were thinking no, then that means then you didn't experience high school the way I did. Because, and I swear to God, they had these tails clipped on their pants, they had the ears, and they just sit in the corner and they're like doing the uh, and all that great stuff. And I would get hissed all the time. Like, I guess, I know my sister's cat hates me, but like, furries hate me too. Like, I don't feel super great about myself at this point. <laughs> And so I always say in life, you're either the hisser or the hissy. And so if you're identifying, I feel like you identify as a hisser. <laughs> oh, a really big snort over there. <laughs> but uh, I identify as a hissy. But on third, a secret third option is a hisser, hissy, or band kid. One of the three. <laughs> Sorry to my band kids out there. But yeah, so I was a theater kid in high school. Uh, it was a time to be alive. All I wanted was to be a leading lady. That's all I wanted. All of my friends, they played Mary Poppins, Elle Woods, uh, Mrs. Banks. I played an eight old woman in eight shows. <laughs> an old woman in eight shows. Now, I swear to God, like, am I gonna peak at 72? That's what I'm wondering. 
Uh, I had my first kiss on stage with this, with this gentleman named Brendan. Uh, Brendan and I shared a nice kiss when he and I played Mr. and Mrs. Fezziwig in A Christmas Carol. <laughs> Super romantic, right? <laughs> and so I remember we had, our, we, we had a showmance. Now, what is a showmance, you may ask? A showmance is when the relationship starts at the beginning, when you're a cast, and then the, the romance dies at the very end of the show. All of my friends have had it. If you're a theater kid and you say, I haven't had a showmance, yes, you did. And you went to high school with me and you're friends with me? Yeah. Sorry. Um, but anyway, so Brent and I had our showmance, whatever. We were sitting in the back hall, being all cute, as theater kids do, which is basically we're sitting like a solid six feet apart. We were practicing social distancing before we were And this little girl runs up to us. And she looks at me and she says, you kissed my brother. And I was like, what? <laughs> me? No, I didn't. And then she says to me, I wasn't talking to you. She was talking to Brendan. <laughs> so Brendan was secretly dating her brother, and this girl just outed him. Oh. Now, for me, I, I'm, I, I'm a bisexual icon. I bite straight. <laughs> I, uh, I outed myself on a drunken night to my best friend Adam. So, like, we all have our moments when we come out, everyone. Happy Pride, everyone. But, uh, <laughs> but anyways, uh, Brendan, I felt bad for him, my king, but he's he's a bisexual icon as well. But anyways, um, happy Pride. Thank you so much for coming. And yeah, stay beautiful. <laughs>